Amanda Bynes. We're moving on to Amanda Bynes. Wasn't always a train wreck. The former Nickelodeon star can be seen entertaining crowds as a 10-year-old for a stand-up routine at the Laugh Factory in Los Angeles. Take a look at this video from 1996. Just give me a second here. I'm going to pull it up. This is good. <laughs> I was thinking they were going to cut it out there, but what do you think? So cute. Yeah, she was so small and little and like 10 years old. I mean, you know, just it's, it's actually kind of sad when you have that kind of proliferation of material and video footage of you being like a successful child actor and compared to reality, it kind of sucks, you know, because people are always going to dig up these old material and be like, look, look how, you know, talented she was and what, what a weirdo she's being now. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It just, she's just been in the spotlight for, for way too long. She's been in the spotlight for the past 17 years, yeah. can you imagine? Yeah, no, I, I mean, honestly, I can't imagine. Yeah. And when you do see these things, though, one thing that they do point to me is, you know, at that age, very few kids are that mature, that capable, uh, yeah. that quick, you know, even quick-witted. I don't know, at least that's my perception. And so I think that that is informing, I think, how later on in life it, they may suffer. Yeah, I mean, you know, she, in the, in the beginning of the clip, she's like hanging with Arsenio Hall. Right. This is a Laugh Factory. This is a, a major venue in L.A. Um, you know, so she, she's been around sort of, I, I feel like when you're sort of like idolized for being this like cutesy young person with like a sassy attitude, it kind of affects you later when you are old and you are no right. longer that young person. Totally, yeah. totally. It's always wanting to, you know, hold on to that nostalgia of wanting to be a kid. All right, Yu Young, thank you so much for joining us.